Welcome to my shop. Today we have an old triplet model 370 sound meter and a model 371 sound level calibrator. Uh, we'll put this away for a moment. And uh, I picked this thing up from down at the transmitter and put new batteries in it. They were kind of toast and bulging and leaking just a little bit, but I took care of that. And now, this guy, <coughs> there we go, hello. So that is 70 dB range. So about plus 76, hello, it's talking loudly. So if I just talk and wander, there's 70 dB from talking. However, we don't know if this thing is right. Let's put it on 60. Hello. Yeah. See, talking. We don't know if it's right. That's why. Oh, it's got a fast. I don't like that. Um, that's why it came in the box with this. Get down here. See, can I focus on that? Whoops. Yeah, I took it apart. It is a triplet model 371. It is 114 dB and at 1000 hertz. And it's model is serial number 362. Holy smokes. You just push the button to make it work and the little light tells you it's on. And this end is the transducer that comes up with all of the noise. Basically, you take this and this. You take this, poke it in there, push the button, read it on the meter. It also comes with this little thing, it's never been opened, that goes in here so that you can measure microphones of a smaller diameter. You can also use this to do microphones. So, this didn't work. Uh, and there's a reason for that. This was inside. Interesting battery. My number 226. It's a 16 Nita 1600 9 volt transistor battery. And it is dorked. Leaked nicely. Unfortunately, it leaked nicely inside too. Not good. Well, we have this problem. Let us turn on the camera here. Uh, and see if I can get this. Okay, we're recording that, and we're going to take the meters, and we're going to go across the positive and negative of the battery. What happened? Okay, there. And we got basically a dead short. Well... Let's take a look at the schematic here and find out what's going on. Uh, if we look at the schematic, <laughs> there ain't much here. Here's the battery, 9 volts. One side just basically goes to ground. The other side goes to the switch. And absolutely nothing else. <laughs> so... I think we got something hosed up either in the switch. If the switch is shorted, one of these diodes, maybe both of the diodes would have to be shorted. No, not even that because 150 ohm resistor here. Uh, I think it's goop. I think it's something from the battery leaking uh, because it just doesn't go anywhere else. We can check and see. 
if the switch all right let's check and see if it makes any difference if let's see if the switch is shorted where is the switch here's the switch well of course it's no okay all right so here we go let's check the switch is the switch shorted I'm across the switch now and I push the button no the switch isn't shorted so we got something here hmm well it doesn't look real good anyway so let's take the take a couple screws out well, you know what let's just leave that on I think it'll make it easier to work with we do have a small problem here there's instead of screwing this on they did rivets so we're gonna have to unrivet them I don't think it's on this end this end looks pretty good see if we can figure out from here uh, brightness uh, yeah yeah all right good good for the camera okay uh, we're looking at this end so let's see I'm looking for something that just looks like dead short under there. I do not see anything right off the bat. Hmm. But that piece of net, that piece right there, that's interesting. I don't really see anything that way but it just yeah all right well let's see if we can get this off I can always get little bitty screws and put it back on again yeah I am gonna take this off I think it'll make it easier put some strain on the wires but because the wires are permanently attached inside of the transducer there's another thought I wonder if the transducer shorted physically shorted inside I don't know come on let go thank you, thank you. alright get rid of that um, I'll tell you what, let's find out. Because if the transducer is physically shorted inside of the thing, then we basically are SOL. All right, take our meter reading. I'll just tell you. No, it's still, still a dead short. Good. So that's not dead. <laughs> take this out of here there we go uh, darn it let that thing go too long ha <sighs> well I suppose Take this little guy off so I can get to everything. All right. There. Yeah, I am thinking. I the switch cannot be shorted internally. No, it's not. Okay. 
Uh, but I got to get these off. And there's just... I hate it when they do this. I mean, folks... I know they're cheaper. But for the extra five cents or maybe two cents don't you think you could have maybe put in screws and nuts I mean it's not like there's a space limitation here there's plenty of room I must admit, these are not your average cheap ones. Yeah, I know I probably could drill these. And I might end up doing that to the other one. I don't know. Because <laughs> these are much harder than I thought. that I have at home and of course the one I wanted there was missing and that's the way it always goes probably missing out of here too no as a matter of fact it's not missing and it's not even broke holy smoke that's cool Somebody left that on the charger. Hopefully it's a decent charger. Alright. Here we go. tricky since these are rounded tops. Yeah, go from this side. to donuts that could be part of our problem right there all right yes doing the demonstration as you're doing it thing takes a lot longer than if you actually just did it but hey what the heck isopropyl alcohol little little muscle no that ain't gonna happen um pocket knife. I never leave home without it. Remember one time I went out on a remote. Oh, found out a problem. Right there it was. Um, I went out on a remote to a 
um, haunted house and I had to get into the haunted house to do a job, do the job I was supposed to do for the radio station and I walked up to the guy and I said I gotta get in, he says okay, he says empty your pockets I said what? And he says empty your pockets, You're just like everybody else you have to empty your pockets, no no dangerous anything allowed in there and I, okay so I emptied my pockets and of course Ah, one of these was in there because it is like a favored tool. I can use it to do almost anything in electronics. And he says, nope, you can't carry that in here. You got to get rid of it. I said, what do you mean, get rid of it? He says, well, I don't care what you do with it. You just can't have it here. I said, uh, sir, it's my tool. It's what I use to do my job. He says, I don't care. No. So I took it out and I said, great, because I probably wasn't going to need it for what I was doing inside. <sighs> and put it underneath a bush on, uh, outside of the entrance exit place. Went in, did my job, came back out, and it was gone. So I asked the guy, I said, uh, hey, I put my pocket knife over there underneath the bush and the guy says and now it's gone and the guy says oh well guess that's your luck I, I haven't seen I didn't see it uh -huh. right anyway so I had to go out and buy a new new pocket I think this is actually the one it's not the one I wanted the one I wanted this one has a corkscrew which actually comes in handy it does not have an honest to goodness Phillips screwdriver you have to use the small flat screwdriver which works okay but it's not what I really wanted anyhow like everything else that we're doing nowadays I mean this was several years ago now for that story but I mean for everything we're doing nowadays one size does not fit all and zero tolerance needs to be looked at carefully all right, I'm believing right here see if I can get this up close enough and I'll see I'm thinking that our problem was this little junction right there was shorted I mean, literally, with the the stuff. So, let's get that off. Cut a little bit of a trace there. Another little scrubby. Okay. Now, now let's see. It, she's still shorted. I mean, dead short. Okay, how? Where are you? Nothing on this side. Well, wait a minute. I had that over there. No, nope, it's still shorted. Where at? Well... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that goes from there to there to there. Okay. Um, 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 um. So, well, B plus is interesting. The B plus here goes pretty much two places and I don't know why it goes to, well one of them goes all right one one of the B plus here goes over to this little jumper to one side of the switch okay the other side of the switch goes to this guy right and this guy uh, 
Okay, so... Hmm. Interesting. Where else could you be shorted? Um... There are... Right around this... Set here... There are a few spots that don't look so... Happy. start taking stuff apart. Darn it, I was hoping there'd be something simple. So the first thing it runs into is that light, well, LED, which is up here. I got serious reservations on whether that's bad. Um, you know what? Ha! I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Did any of you catch that? I mean, I, I had to do this anyway. I had to clean that off. But... <laughs> this is... Alright. Uh, this little thing on here is isolated from this holder. And this holder is actually attached to ground. Oi, alright, so let's find out here. Let's do it this way. No. So there's no short there. Anyway, I had to do that, get that junk off there anyhow. But let's see. Um itty bitty screws. This one have itty bitty screws. Yeah, this one has itty bitty screws. I can use it. This is a really long video for something this simple. But, hey. Well, that's like perfect. Don't get much better than that. So that would be a, what is that thing? What size is that? That's hair. 2-56 by a quarter. All right. Getting a set of these little, you know, whole, they're expensive if you buy if they're any good at all. I've got some at home that are just garbage, but a, a, a good set of screws. Um, nuts, bolts, and screws is just. It's a thing that you just have to have if you're going to do this stuff because, well, like you see here, they decided that pop rivets are cheaper. So let's just do it that way. Um, and sometimes you just don't have a choice. You have to tear them apart. And uh, what are you going to put back together with? I don't have a pop rivet gun with that exact size of pop rivet. I mean, I know this thing was made in the United States, but I can't tell you what size pop rivet that was. I get that on there? Yay! All right. Tighten it down. 
I could reach over there and get the dig through it and find the nut driver to do this with but by the time I got that I'd probably be done doing it anyway so there we go all right well that's taken care of put the switch back in well they did not believe in giving you any extra wire or anything for this holy moly uh, hmm. okay all right you didn't see this To shorten the bolt because this thing wouldn't sit flat anymore there we go now it sits flat well flat-ish flat enough much better than it was uh, Switches back in. Uh, let's put the transducer back in here. Well, darn it, did it again. Let that thing go too long so it cools down. That's one thing I don't like about that solder sucker. If you let it sit too long, it just cools down to 200. Then we will use this. Timey solder smells wonderful. Love it. I don't know when this thing's from. I'd say the 70s, if I had to guess. There's no, yeah, 70, no, 741. Uh, 7140, so 40th week of 1971. Ha! What a guess. All right. Let's put this back in here. This one is ground over it's here. Well, the walls are barely big enough. This was blocked by something else. There we go. <laughs> well, they didn't want to. Guess they didn't want these to fall out. Hmm. All right. Of course, the ground fell out. There we go. Yeah, it looks fair. Okay, well, <laughs> let's see if our attempt here did any good. I'm going to hook the power up. I'll let you know. I've got it on 600 milliamps. Whoops. 
No, I don't. I don't have it turned on at all. Nine volts, six hundred mils. it up to there and to there not drawing the squat hey all right I am an idiot okay well that's all right it needed to be cleaned anyway all right so we hook this up here and we get the meter over here so we can see it we put it on 110. We take you down a little bit. There we go. And we turn it on. Let her settle down. We hit the button. It's supposed to be. Wow, okay. So that's supposed to be. Let's do fast. Now I don't know which is right. This or this. But we're reading on a 110. We're reading 109. Well, that'd be 110 is 0 minus 1. Hmm. So it does have a calibration pot right here. It won't go high enough. <sighs> okay, do I have to have this smashed right up on here? Alright. I don't know which one's which, but we're gonna say that it's close enough. Alright. I got an order of battery for this if I'm going to even keep a, or try to maintain it, which I probably will. I mean, you know, it's a piece of equipment that just doesn't deserve to die. But uh, I don't know how much those 1600 batteries cost. I can't think, can't see a way. I'm not sure you could get an. Well, let's find out. Could just stand a 9 volt up in here. Wow. Really? Ha! You could stand a 9 volt up in this thing. You'd have to worry and finagle. Yeah, I could do it. I could replace, just use these clips. Where's the end of the hole? Um, and it would go back together with just a regular old 9 volt instead of one of those 1600s. You know what? Do I have? Do I have one of those things? Ugh. Yeah, I got a whole bag of those things. I wonder where they came from. Like I said, this is this is work, not home. Jeez. What a mess. Alright. Let's uh let's see if we can do this. Well, I'm sure we can do this. I'm going to leave those things as the connectors. I'm going to take this B plus wire here and pull it off the switch.
Try to be careful with these switches. They'll melt. All right. So. There's that. I mean, there isn't anything to this. Shoe. If I take this guy and get it off of here. All right. Let's see. Light comes on. Sound comes on. Now that it's all put together like it's supposed to be, and there's a ring on there. 110. Yeah, we're still at dead on 110 instead of 114, but we're going to call it good. All right, there you go. <laughs> a repair, revitalization. Maybe it didn't even need a repair, but I had to clean up from this mess. So, there we go. And uh, hey, if you like the video, give, us a th give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to, subscribe and so you uh, and hit that little button down there so you know when I make a new one. Thanks for watching.